More signs that San Francisco is going down the toilet. And I'm not talking about that fancy million dollar one they installed downtown. San Fran's most prominent shopping mall is going bust as the city struggles with rampant crime. Westfield Mall has stopped paying its half a billion dollar mortgage and will be surrendering its namesake to lenders. Joins a growing exodus of retailers and hotels fleeing downtown. Gavin Newsom admitting that California's homelessness crisis is a disgrace but try to blame Republicans for it. Yeah. You're leaving San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. So my question to you is between taxes, bureaucracy, crime, homelessness, mm -hmm. and the homeless numbers are not really good no. uh, for you in your state well, versus I, far. I acknowledge that. And no, I mean, I wouldn't compare ourselves to anyone. But it's a disgrace, the homeless issue. I don't like, like what's happened in the streets and sidewalks. I don't like the bashing of my old city, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Whole Foods did shut down one business, but there was a bad location to begin with. They're opening a new one. We have 2.7%. My sister was out here recently with her team, and I said, it's don't bad. go to the wharf. Certain parts are bad, and we own that. Mm, much like you, Jesse, certain parts are bad. <laughs> um, you know, the thing is, yep. I got to give, well, we have to give him credit for showing up, but why is he showing up? Why is he answering these questions now? Because he knows it's going to be an issue next year when he runs for president. Well, he's definitely warming up. And um, as a Republican, I was impressed that he showed up on Fox mm -hmm. and he engaged and he took ownership of some of these issues. Most Democrats won't even admit there's a problem. Permission to make an analogy. Please do. Being in a city run by Democrats is like being in a bad marriage where you pretend like everything is great. You know the couples. Yes. But it's just so they don't have to talk about how bad things really are. Mm. Because once you acknowledge there's a problem, you have to do something about that. So Gavin's now at maybe midfield, but he has to understand homelessness isn't about lack of affordable housing. It's about drug addicts that want to wander yep. around and live in tents on the sidewalk. And so you can't coddle antisocial behavior. You can't subsidize antisocial behavior. You have to stigmatize it. You can't celebrate people with purple hair, with nose rings, four kids with four different men who are dressed like trash and make them out to be some sort of cutting edge heroes. You have to call them what they are. These are people that have failed in life and they're on their deathbed. And if we're not honest about it, we're never going to fix this problem. Mm. So he, he mentioned that uh, that uh, Whole Foods was in a bad location. <laughs> um, but I'm sure that if, if, if Whole Foods had never gone to that location, they would be accused of racism or creating a food desert. Yeah. They've been encouraged to go to locations. Don't you remember we had reporters out front talking to the customers who yeah. were like, what, wait, what, uh, this is gone now? But they said they understood. Uh, Rampant shoplifting, for example, was a big problem. In addition, he has overseen, he was the mayor there, and now he's the governor, he has overseen the doom loop of San Francisco. It used to be a jewel of the United States of America. And now you have the Westfield Mall basically closing down, the Nordstrom left. So there's no place to go. If you want to go to the theater, mm -hmm. there's no place to go shopping. There's no place to go for dinner. So why would you go down there? And the other thing is, I remember in 2015 when all the Republicans were headed up to New Hampshire and mostly New Hampshire where they got this question. The first question that every candidate got was about opioid abuse and crisis and addiction and what were we going to do about it because all these people were dying. Well, now it's actually, I think, homelessness. It, it doesn't matter where you are. It's not just happening in New Hampshire. I talked to a woman in St. Louis yesterday. Uh, Alamosa, Colorado has a homelessness problem. Denver is a problem. You, you, there's no place you can look where there isn't a homeless problem. And if that's going to be a major issue for the country, if Gavin Newsom decides to run, imagine being able to run with him, against him with all those images. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, uh, by the way, you just gave me an idea for a serial for goths. Doom loops. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tasty and black suicidal. One, like black loops? Yeah, black loops. Uh, the judge, uh, what do you... Uh, what is he doing here? He's well, doing Hannity. He's tussling with DeSantis. He's deferential to Trump. He's showing up at the White House months ago. Oh, he is flirting. Yeah. But he, <laughs> he knows something, Judge. Uh -huh. He knows that Joe's not going to be there. He knows it, and he's saying, I'm loyal to Joe. I'm with Joe. But let me fight DeSantis, you know? Yeah. And uh, very interesting. He knows Trump's numbers. So he's like, I like Donald Trump. He was great to me during the pandemic. Uh, he's a very smooth character, this guy. And, uh, you know, he takes, he takes, you know, he owns the fact that they've got all this homelessness 
and you know, but he doesn't have a solution for it. Right. You know, and the same, he owned the fact that he went to the French Laundry. Yeah, I was wrong, but he didn't say or have a solution like, you know, this is something that we shouldn't have done, but 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 other than you know, based upon what we were telling people, it was just arrogant, whatever. And I love the bad location uh, uh, example. That's such crap. These are excuses. These are no solutions. And the perfect example is the fact that there is a residents are left to fend for themselves. And there's one group in San Francisco in the Mission District that they were so they were so inundated with crime and drugs and homelessness. You know what they did? They did all their own GoFundMe and they raised twenty five thousand dollars so they could buy these fourteen hundred pound planters so that they couldn't so that the homeless couldn't pitch a tent in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Maybe we ought to do more of that. But that's the example of the government not doing what it's supposed to do. They're not only not protecting you, they're 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 not providing a, a safe place for people to live and prosper and businesses to prosper, home values to go up, children to walk to school. So now people have to take it into their own hands. And by the way, um, the people who are in these, in these the homeless people, they're the walking dead. Mm -hmm. They're just waiting. I'll never forget, I was a judge once, and I remember saying to a defendant, and it was on an arraignment, and I, I, I'm trying to decide bail. I said, well, what do you do? Mm -hmm. He said, I don't do anything. Mm. And I said, well, uh, what are you? Well, I mean, you have to do something. He said, I am the walking dead. Oh. Mm. He was a druggie. I mean, he yeah. knew it. Mm. Mm. Well, Jessica, now we're down to you. <laughs> what do you have Seriously, to say for yourself? How this turns out. I blame all the problems of San Francisco on you. <laughs> how do you plead? I guess guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> um, Obviously, the homelessness situation is really sad, but I'm more interested in talking about the interview itself and what it says about the trajectory, I hope, of more Democrats showing up in less safe mm -hmm. interview spaces. Because, you know, Pete Buttigieg does come on all the time, does um, straight news anchors, goes on with Brett, talks to Neil. Everyone should go everywhere. I thought that Hannity was extremely fair to him. Obviously, Hannity has his set of facts that he's going to be putting out there, but he certainly let Newsom put his out there. I thought the exchange that they had about the job creation numbers was incredibly fruitful and good for Hannity's side and good for Newsom's side. And when you look at the numbers of who's actually watching the networks, the cable, cable news networks, Fox is the only place that has persuadable voters that are paying any attention. So 20% of the five's viewership are Democrats. We have a huge bunch of independents as well. But people who are watching CNN or MSNBC, they know who they're, who they're voting for. And when you go back to 2020 and you see what Joe Biden was able to do in picking off moderate Republicans and independents, that's because there were appeal to more conservative people out there. So Democrats, please show up, make the case, do it respectfully. And the same way that it works, both sides, you'll get your clips, right? Everyone will splice and dice it up and they'll say, Gavin Newsom owned Sean Hannity. And then on the right, I'll say, Sean Hannity owned Gavin Newsom. And everyone will raise a lot of money and it will be great for both sides. But I thought Newsom did a wonderful job. And if you're deciding at, uh, whether to do my show or Jesse's, obviously mine, <laughs> Jesse will, will uh, set you up to fail. And he'll put I you will, on with a furry. Yeah, he'll put you on with a furry. I just feel like I let everybody down by... 25% of our audience is Democrat. Yeah. How have I not persuaded them to be Republicans by now? <laughs> you will one day. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.